John Guare's Nantucket Sleigh Ride, running now at the Lincoln Center Theater, is a play about a possible murder, adultery, Walt Disney, a munchkin, Jorge Luis Borges, Roman Polanski, and a lobster. In other words, it's a very weird and very funny play, made all the funnier by its lead actor, Emmy and Tony Award winner John Larroquette, who joins us now. Thank you oh, for joining us, man. It's an honor to have you here I with us. I never actually had that list made before, but you're right. That's, <laughs> that's a lot about but, what you it's But, you know, about. obviously the play is really not about those things, although all those things contribute to the story. But to say what the story is about is a bit challenging. What do you say the, the play is about? A man is confronted with his past experience by these two visitors, and he decides to tell the audience, in essence, what happened. But memory is faulty, first of all, and it's subjective, and so he tells a story. And I don't necessarily think that it's really what happened at all. Uh -huh. It's what he remembered happened. I've been, I, I've been often asked to write a memo, which I don't think I could ever do. But I said, if I did, what's going to be on the front page is, this is a true story, and some of it actually happened. <laughs> That's a great. And I think, great. With, I think with John's writing, you know, yeah. it's that way. It's how, how faulty is our memory, you know? Yeah. You construct your memory. So, but there are those elements in it. Yeah. And John is a great writer, a surreal comedy writer, right. in essence, but also touches on deep issues. Yeah, it is. And we'll get to all that. But, you know, the way I saw when I saw it, uh, is what? Oh, to me it was kind of like a farcical David Lynch movie, you know? Once you realize you have, to me, it was, you know, you, you have to use dream logic, it all fits into place. Mm -hmm. That's the way I saw it. Yeah. And, and, and you could see the same thing happening to people all around me. How do people, you know, you're very close to the audience, how do they respond to this? You know, it's, it's interesting because of the fact that I can see them, uh, and I look at them, I mean, I talk to you, I talk to the audience. And it's, it's sometimes off-putting. I try not to focus completely, because sometimes if you look at somebody telling them something and they're going, <laughs> you wonder, oh, I, they don't know what I'm talking about, yeah. so I better move on. <laughs> and as an actor, you don't want that to affect your performance. So most, most of the time, I try to look above them and just into the dark after, like, the fourth row. Mm. But I, at times, you can tell. And you can, listen, I can tell within 30 seconds of the lights going up if the audience is leaning forward, ready for the story, or if they're leaning back, saying, show me. And if they're leaning back and saying, show me, then it's my job to show them, but not to reach out and yeah. grab them, because that yeah. just makes you recoil more. Yeah. So you just do the play. We've rehearsed it enough. Jerry Zaks is a great director, and we have our schematic for every night that we try and duplicate, mm -hmm. because the play is the play. How you receive it is really not my concern, mm -hmm. and it shouldn't be, mm -hmm. because if I'm concerned about how you receive it, then I might alter it, trying to get you to receive it, and then I, then we lose the heart of it. This is a play where you're in every minute of every scene, and not only that, you're the center around which everything and everyone rotates. The juggler who keeps all these bizarre characters up in the play, up in the air, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Didn't you think it might be a bit daunting? I was an idiot, and I thought, <laughs> well, you know, I thought I, I had not done something like this, obviously, for a long time. Yeah. And it was, I, I was sitting at home with Elizabeth, my wife, and I said, you know, can I carry this water at my age, you know? I'm not young anymore, <laughs> by any definition, except maybe a tortoise. <laughs> um, and I thought, it's a challenge, but I, I have to take it on because of who these people are. As I say, uh, most people who know about the play, it's, it's very funny, it's farcical. But Wall Street Journal critic Terry Teachout said this about it. I laughed at its wild plot twists loudly and a lot, but I also watched the last scene through tears. Now, I didn't watch the last scene through tears exactly, but I know what he means. I mean, there's a transformation in your character that it's kind of like a mild, gentle version of Ebenezer Scrooge in The Christmas Carol. You see him reconnect with his humanity. I mean, is that right? Is that too much? No, is that I, don't, I, don't, I don't think at all. I think at all. I think that when he, you know, one of the challenges for me was to, to think, to decide when he recognizes them from his past, when they come in the office with the book, right? Not giving away any plot mm. lines, it's mm. just what it is. And by the end of it, he realizes that he loved these kids. He felt for them. As we see in the play, he tried to <laughs> help them escape from yeah. whatever situation they're in. How yeah. much of that's real, who knows? Yeah. But I believe that, and because the play has been uh, cut somewhat, there was even more on stage about his trying to help their present-time life. Now it's just giving them something of their mother, 
Uh, and yes, he could have just said, oh, kids, take care of yourself. But he tried to give them some salve, some sucker, as the Latin would say, um, to make their lives more f complete. You know, to put a small piece back into their mind of the love that their mother obviously had for them. Okay, we're out of time, but this play ends May 5th. Yes. You got any plans uh, coming up after that? Any more narrations? Any new version of the Texas uh, oh, Chainsaw Massacre oh. to narrate? Isn't that amazing that that <laughs> sticks around for 45 years, 50 <laughs> years later? However long. Good Lord. No, my only, my only plans are to uh, go and kill some fish and eat them. All right. Well, John, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Nantucket Sleigh Ride is playing at the Lincoln Center Theater at the Mid CE Newhouse through May 5th. And for more information, you can visit our website at metrofocus.org.